Hello and welcome back to Thief 2 The Flying Age. We have just finished building a plane. Uh, that kind of didn't go as planned. Then we built a kind of helicopter thing and now we are flying, trying to get back to the balloon. So let's see how we're going to go. Approach the Enterprise with the copter and climb on board. Sneak inside the Enterprise, which will soon meet up with Zeta-1, and hide in a crate destined for zeta One storage room. Your presence must not be noticed, so don't attack or alert anyone. So absolutely forced ghosting. If you get into trouble, remember that someone has to guide the Enterprise to rendezvous with Zeta-1, so don't kill the captain. Okay, don't attack or alert anyone, but don't kill the captain. So I guess maybe if we actually do an attack or alert someone... We don't fail the mission, but just things change. I'm guessing. But okay, we're not going straight to Zeta-1 that we were on before. We're going to the Enterprise first. Uh, this way. Oh, they've got more... Uh, flying vehicles down there. These are abominable flying machines indeed. I hope the uh, gas we have in there lasts. Well, you can tell this is a more primitive vessel because they're using very inefficient kind of paddle mechanisms for propulsion instead of uh, air screws. Interesting. Wait, it says don't attack or alert anyone, but I see someone... Oh, okay, they're facing away from us, so we should be able to get it back here. I hope. Without alerting them. Well, I hope so anyway. Bouncing a lot here. What happens if I jump into the... <laughs> I'm just jumping to try and stop the bouncing, so we're just kind of on the platform a little better. Alright, then let's try not to uh, blow this one up, I think. Alright. Hi, you've served your purpose well. Nice balloon. Oh. Oh, nice. The balloon part fell down after the rest of it. Alright, so uh, here we are on board the Enterprise. Actually, I'm going to make a hard save because I do not want to have to repeat that if everything goes very wrong. Let's... Hmm? Hello? Where is he and where is he going? Walking around in circles, or what? His footsteps aren't really... Oh, he's standing there. Okay. It's not a safe place for us. This looks relatively safe. I mean, he might come in here, but it is nice and dark, so... Uh, what have we got? Noisemaker. Moss. Still have the crystal sword. But what good that's going to do us. Um, and not much else. Don't even have our blackjack. Moss and a noisemaker. Okay, this is... Not going to be the easiest job. Sneak past all these people, but hopefully there's just not very many guards. It's not a very big place. If there's few guards and plenty of places to hide, maybe if I'm not supposed to alert anyone, I should not cut down banners as well. Oh, 
Can you kill somebody? Alright, they're not coming this way. Well, when I were attempt not to What the hell? I'll turn you up soon enough. <laughs> that's 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 a new one for me. Uh well don't alert or find any video, it's optional. I've seen an intruder. Okay. Fine. Damn. Lost him. Well, I could reload. I could try to kill these people, but trying to kill these people is not going to be, I think, very successful. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice you there. Did I tell you? As soon as I just make one mistake. Yeah, there's a lot of people up here, actually. Well, for the small space, small space, and not much darkness. killed himself. Well, let's get rid of the evidence, shall we? Well, this didn't really get rid of it, did it? Come out In fact, face me. that kind of left it where someone is going to find it. Uh, let's see if we can do something about that. Well, unlike the last fellow I've thrown aboard, he's already... Oh, he's also searching, huh? He was already dead, so throwing him overboard isn't gonna. <laughs> oh shit, he saw me. You won't be so cheery when oh dear. Block key is B. Okay. Well, the captain's alert. No, we don't need a sextant. Yeah, yeah, we got key Z. What do we got? Day one. The sky is clear of clouds today. We can start the procedure to lift up this wonderful machine, hoping the builder of the sky won't hit us with some of his lightning bolts. Day two. The lift up was as per the manual. We slid into the air just like oil onto the floor. Zeppelinger is a wonderful genius of this era and has created a magnificent metal swan. Day three, we moved to the east, waiting for a reply to our last received orders sent via carrier pigeon. I reckon that if there are no problems, we can rendezvous with Zeta-1 in five days' time. Day four or five, we have encountered some serious problems with unexpected winds coming from southeast that have forced us to make a long detour to reach Point Alpha. Day six, finally, we have reached Point Alpha. Today, the sky is a little cloudy. Lieutenant Girelli and I decided to brief the crew about preparing and placing the cargo for the rendezvous tomorrow. Von Braun and Dr. Zeppelinger will be proud of our work, I'm sure of it. Speaking of proud of work, we should uh, also... You know, kind of dispose of these two fellas. For, you know, if not for stealth reasons, at least for sanitary reasons. Keeping all these bodies lying around us. Will you? So go ahead. You won't be so cheery I mean, they're nice, they're very pretty bones. Alright, so, uh, what are I even am I doing up here? Find a secure hiding place to await the rendezvous with Zeta 1. Right, so, apart from reading a book coming up here, seems to have been kind of unnecessary. The captain is. Not happy to see us, but can't do much about it. Um, hmm, where are we going to hide? Maybe back in the cargo area. Come out and face me, villain. Come back here. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's brightly lit, but doesn't seem to. Doesn't give me a way to uh, hide. Oh, I'm gonna have to deal with you too, aren't I? They're not going to suspect anything, are they? There'll be nobody to transfer the cargo. This is really, really not going well. So I've killed everybody but the captain. But okay, I'll fail the, cap the mission, obviously, if I kill the captain. But, um... Really is a long way down. Could jump down and see for myself. Oh, I've got the Zeke gear now. What did that do? I don't know. Just, just did something with some machinery. Uh, hello. Did that extend these walkways? They seem new. Stand in front of the door. Alright, I've been so much okay. Alright, the, up, the upper part of the cargo hold. Oh, that's got a door on it. Right. This is where most of the cargo is. Oh, hello, is that. Is that a chest? No, that's just all these. I thought that was a chest. Okay, I guess we're gonna hide in here. Well, we could have done that more stealthily. A rendezvous. This time things will be fine. I can hear the captain's orders from here. He says all the crates must be loaded on the Zeta-1. What he doesn't know is I'm going to be inside one of those crates. Well, uh, we fought a little more than planned, but uh, this seems to have succeeded. The captain, having lost sight of us, I guess, figured I must have gone overboard with the rest of his crew. So let's carry on. Now that we're back aboard Zeta 1, this time there is no excuse. Locate and steal the propulizer, pro the propulizer machine. Fly away in the skate pod. Okay, finally we get to use that escape plane they've got attached. You deserve some final financial compensation for what they did to you. Grab at least 1,000. Uh, okay. Extra bonus. Knock and KO them all. Mega bonus. Create some chaos. Change route. Drop the anchors. Drop the ballast. Stop the motors. And vent the balloon pressure. Alright. I think I know how to do most of that. Um, well, that does sound bad. I guess I'd do that just before getting on the escape plane because... If I stop the motors, if I vent the balloon pressure and hang around too long, we'll kind of hit the ground, I think. Seems seems probable that we'd hit the ground. Oh, there's uh, a nice packet of lockpicks here. I wonder who was, they were shipping that for. Just rope arrows, moss arrows, a blackjack. Did somebody prepare this crate for me? We got these materials from a guild of thieves called the Keepers. Get them to Zeta One for incineration. Oh, I know. This is where we are. Okay, I recognize this place. We were here before. I don't see there. That's not functioning anymore. Don't seem to be able to get around the other side this time. Never mind, let's uh...
Alright, so we got that bonus objective where we can flush the toilet again. We've got a bonus objective to uh, knock them all out. It's a nice dark spot. So I should try to do that. Does old Benny come in here? Or are people too busy pushing him around? Oh, it's uh, cold and snowy or over the mountains. Okay. Let's keep the weather out. Okay, he's walking up and back tending the bar, I think. Uh, this is the guest list again. It hasn't really changed, but maybe this time we have lockpicks. We'll be able to uh, break into some of those places. I'll overlook that somebody fixed the banner. I think that's kind of... Uh... Carrot. Stuck on the door here. This is not going to end well. Physics, physics, physics. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm really stuck. Oh, okay. Our, our magical unstick button worked. Otherwise, we're going to restart. All right. You won't mind if I turn the lights off here, will you? Nope. Well, you're going to go into the kitchen and... I thought I saw something. Help! <laughs> You saw nothing. Sleep. Sleep now. It's pretty dark here, isn't it? Yeah, nice and dark for a body. Well, I can say dark enough, but uh, listen, I'm going to put you back on your table here. Crew will probably just think, well, I guess the plan is to knock everybody out. So they're not really going to think that you're uh, just having another kip right there. They're gonna all get knocked out. They're all gonna go crashing to earth once I turn all the engines off. Oh, he's patrolling now. Wait, is nobody uh, steering this thing? Not hearing more guards patrolling. I don't know if they're upstairs or going to come out through the door behind me. I guess I'll hear the door. Probably upstairs. You catch that? Third time this shift. I got a call. Well, this is the commander, so we're uh, definitely going to be going off course now. Wonder if I should just throw them all overboard. That's the lift. Hello. Commander's treasure box key. That could be useful. Now we have lockpicks. Now we can get into all the cabins. We can get into all the chests. Everything we couldn't reach before. What do we got down there? Ah, oh, just a valuable thing. Yeah, I don't think I need the lights on in here. Wait till I find you. Ah, uh, you heard me put the, the valve thing down. He's upstairs, isn't he? Let's just check there's nobody around here going to get in our way. Like this fella. Make sure the place is clear. We'll be better off for it. Navigation instruments, but more importantly, money. Right, was that the way to the... Okay, that's the way to the upper floor. That's the guard we uh, alerted. Did 
Don't come in my corner here. It's mine. My corner, you're not allowed. Actually, I've changed my mind. You're allowed to go to my corner. Why don't you go there right now? Ooh. Ooh -hoo. Lots of valuables. What's this crate? Had a letter in it. Urgent. This is a message from the East Quarter. We have a long list of compromising information about a man named Garrett, who is a massive menace against us. Stop. We have found evidence that he is an agent from the Green Leaf Guild. Stop. Urgent measures are required. Stop. We know of a possible plan to destroy or take a machine of ours. Stop. This message must reach Dr. Zeppelinger as soon as possible. Stop. New objective, huh? Flush the compromising evidence about you down the toilet. I'll gladly do so. Now I now I understand the reason for the uh, having a flush toilet on here, at least the reason that's relevant to me. Turn the lights off. Alright, so that's just a crate that's buggy and doesn't have physics. Anything else of value here? Ah, it's the lift to the top floor. Alright, we won't go up to the gas bag area just yet. We have uh, passenger rooms to loot, which was uh, back down this way. And we got the crew rooms on the ground floor, so actually I should probably do uh, all of that first. Oh, this is the other side of where I started, okay. Alright, let's, let's start uh, picking some locks here. Dear wife, I'm awaiting your arrival here. It's the middle of the night, but I'm still awake wondering about our child coming. Can you imagine how wonderful it would be if he decided to come whilst we are flying above the world? I can't wait for the rendezvous at the next stop. I have prepared a special quilt chair for your flight. You shouldn't do anything except remain seated looking out over the world that turns round and round. Of course, within my surrounding arms, my dear. And because I know that you are a thoughtful person, I can reassure you about our budget for this second honeymoon. The money is all in a secret little vault in the airship, near the entrance. Dr. Zeppelinger assured me in person that the secret place was secure. Now I'm going to sleep a little. The next days will be unforgettable, unforgettable for both of us. Your love, Carl. Honeymoon, eh? Well, I've always equated you know, with some ring and some uh, money on the bed. I've always equated feelings with uh, not getting my money or something. Getting caught is, is the original line. I was trying to think of some, some slightly humorous twist on it, and I couldn't, so. Just, uh, you know, if you're watching this, stop and imagine a, a uh, humorous version of that line, and then imagine that I said it, and then laugh, and everything will be good. So the vault near the entrance, I need to remember that. We found the entrance, which was uh, the big side door I opened to look down on the snow-covered mountains. So I have to have another look around there. Oh, that's... I wasn't expecting that to be trapped. That's uh, interesting. You actually installed a trap in your cabin. Dear Mary Angela, I feel so excited about this first flight. My heart is full of dreams. We are the first people in the world that will fly. Can you believe that? I have no words to describe to you the amazing moments that I'm going to experience. Sure, the price of the ticket was very high, but that makes no difference. The next time I travel, I will also get a ticket for you, my darling. I was so afraid to know that your mother died from her injuries. I can't wait to hold you in my arms again. Your love, Sir Westwood. Well, Sir Westwood, I'm afraid you may not be able to afford the ticket. Yes. 
Yeah, upstairs. God, he sounds like he's right behind me. But no, he's right above me. Just the hallway sound propagating from the hallway upstairs in this tight environment is uh, unusual. Personal notes of Duke Carl von Braun, part two. I, Duke von Braun, hereby give you these notes in confidence. May the lights written on these pages guide the reader through the darkness of lies and secrets. The Conspiracy. I remember the time when I was enthusiastic about Dr. Zeppelinger's design, but I didn't know the truth about him then. Now I'm here to explain him what it is. He is an ambitious person who wants everything. Power, glory, money. He lied to me when he said, I only want to create a new era of hope for all humanity. You keep all the money and the glory and leave me the duty of saving the world from this dark ignorance. Now I know he is preparing an attack against me. Casimiro, a man of mine, is masquerading as a scientist and has discovered the whole plan against me. Now I know what to do, because a new Karras is on the way and must be stopped before he gets the power to control us all. One day he came with a painting beneath his right arm, very proud of what he did. He showed me a lifetime's work, the painted dog. That was my dearest dog, Carlitos. He, the dog, flew with me many times on our dangerous missions as my mascot, but is now sadly dead. That painting is the most precious treasure that I ever had, and incredibly it now seems to be lost. It all happened a couple of weeks ago when the servants repaired my baggage for the flight. Could it be that the painting is here in the Zeta-1 somewhere? I must definitely find it before they do. A final word about these newly converted mechanists. I don't trust them. In the last month I saw a lot of things that made me realise there is something wrong with this era, era of new thinking called Illuminarium. In particular I saw a group of scientists gathered in an old chapel praying to the Builder. And after that I saw them outside dressed as followers of Dr. Zeppelinger. A page is lost in here. Your objectives. Uh, extra bonus. Find Von Braun's incrimin incriminating letter and find the lost dog paint painting. Don't know why I said paint painting, but uh, it could have been a crayon painting or a pencil painting or a uh, charcoal painting. Doesn't really work because it's called a painting, presumably for a reason. Alright, we'll go upstairs shortly. Not going to fiddle with the controls just yet. Let's leave the lights off, shall we? Um, right, vault. Secret vault hidden. Is it behind here? No, that would be too obvious. And besides, I chopped that down last time. Someone repaired it, but uh, that is not. Uh, uh -huh. What's here? Oh, it's got a code. Secure storage for guests' valuables. Hmm. Well, I don't think I can guess the code, so I'm going to need to find it. Let's do our vandalism. Sure, why not? Alright, up to the guests' area. On this left. Some more people patrolling around, so uh, I think we do want to KO them all as requested. Well, there's a lot of them. Crew quarters. You just sit tight there. Alright. Who do we have here? Several people. They're not having a conversation with me, are they? It doesn't appear so. We'll deal with them shortly. Just make sure there's no other surprises from uh, wandering guards. Uh, yes, oh, these are the controls for balloon pressure. Yeah, we don't want to do them just yet, but uh, we will attend to them before too long. This time I can open these. And that explains why, see I thought last mission we were up here, we are going to get a lockpick somewhere. But we never did. Alright, well that's our loot goal. At least 1,000, there's probably more, and I will probably be happy to find it and take it. 
commander's room. Well, if anyone knows the key to the uh, guest's valuables, it would have been the commander. Maybe he wrote it in the journal. He certainly has a lot of money. Got to watch over my dear money. Tling, tling. I love to hear the sound of those little metal pieces. I love money. Thanks, Builder, for creating it. So polished, so clear. Money gives me status. Gervasius is going to search my secret coffin, the coffin of gold. I must kill him, kill him. Leave me alone, thou damned internal voice. Ah, sob, sob. Well, the commander has some problems. Dr. Zeppelinger, I can't go on like this. Duke von Braun is a very hateful person who pokes his nose into everything I do. Just to let you know, some time ago he came to my room and claimed total control of the maximum security storage room. When I told him that I couldn't do it without your permission, he threatened me with dismissal. So I accepted his request, but I would still like to know your opinion. Please help me to do my duty as well as I can, Dr. Zeppelinger. I can't cope with his arrogance anymore. Yours, Commander Jameson. Alright, we're going to need a key for that, alright. Come back to the commanders. Let's check out these quarters. Whosoever they may be. Whosoever's left their money is here. As Commander Jameson ordered, I set the combination lock. I must remember to change it every two days. On Monday, it will be 3242. On Wednesday, it will be 1234. On Friday, it will be 4441. And next Monday, it will be 1132. Dang, what day is it? Uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll leave that door open because we'll come back and see if we can find out what day it is. Uh, so I know what combination to try. I'm guessing it's a combination for the guest uh, guest storage. This one I can pick. Okay. Useless, useless stuff. Is there any, anything behind the door? I don't know how I could tell. Let's not jump around too much. Oh, we need to come back to both of those. Okay. I can't turn out these lights, can I? No matter. Alright, so if I go in there, those guys will see me and make a bunch of noise and clutter, and they might alert the guards on the upper floor. So before I deal with the guests, I'm going to go to the upper floor and knock out all the guards up there. This thing is still flying itself pretty safely, right? It's, it's just going to go forward. Well, uh, I kind of hope we're not going to crash into a mountain, but... Uh, well, we actually don't seem to be moving very much, so we're probably safe. Did it go in these? Yes, yes, yes. That's right, that's the trapped one. Yeah, okay. My memory is just not doing me any favors right now. All right, back up here, and then find the, the lift to the top area. Into the gas bag. I mean, the good news is they surely aren't going to expect that I'm going to come back again after they've trapped me and uh, successfully got rid of me. It'd be ridiculous for them to assume I'd make it all the way back here again. But still, mustn't get complacent. Making noise. Hopefully not, because if anyone's making noise, they might hear them. Oh, hello. I see a chest. Let us pick the lock. Healing potion. Very nice. Don't want to 
that stuff on that metal. Uh, you know what? I could use much out of there, or I can just come back after I've cleared this place up. He didn't alert. It's good. There's nobody up there, so there's the guy down at the bottom. Shall have to deal with. Is that all of them? Let's wait till he comes back out. I mean, he's tempting me now, but I run up to him, he's going to turn around right away, right? So my timing is the worst of all possible timing. That's all guards dealt with. Ah, look, doesn't this room seem familiar? Okay, I should always check if there's anything hidden underneath any of these lift shafts. Yeah, sometimes there is. It is possible there's another guard somewhere in one of these upper rooms, but it seems unlikely. Left trim key. Well, oh. oh, that's a secure storage area. Right. Right trim room, leave this room open. So they left it open, that wasn't just there to trap me, they're actually leaving it open all the time. Before I go further back, let's check the upper floor here. Maybe nothing. But, uh, yeah, it looks like. Anything that was here we got last time. Good. Let's lift this out of order. Hang on a second. Can we not get into the right trim room? No, I don't have a gear for it. Maybe I can get into it from down below. I'll, I'll drop back down and, and find out. Yeah, nothing here for us either. Alright, let's go back and... Wait, how do I get back up? So this is out of order. Oh, there's a ladder. If this is out of order, how do I get up here? Like, what a concept. That lane seems to be problematic. But that's alright, there's no one to hear me plank around. So apart from the three people below, I think this is uh, all the everyone dealt with. Alright, let's go back to, back to the bottom. Let's see if we can get in from here. Oh, there's more notices. A new kind of parachute is on the way, ready for the next voyage. Yeah, the old one is too easy to get tangled in. Should fix that. The thief fell into the trap, but we couldn't find him inside the room. He disabled, disabled the left piston and then probably died whilst trying to escape by going outside the balloon. Anyway, to be completely certain, we have left the area sealed the way it was after the trap was activated. We report this to Duke Von Brown with maximum urgency. Duke Xavier of Greenlands has asked for a special permit to examine our constructions next month. Yeah, yeah, we read that one. Dang. Uh, so did we read this? Yes. Oh, but this tells us useful stuff from this time, right? Uh, balance released switches. The bridge. The bridge. Uh, turn the. We can release the ballasts. We can uh, release the anchors. We can turn off the speed. 
and then there's the guest release files. What we don't know, what I haven't found, either this time or last time, is uh, any way of getting to that escape plane, right? How do I get to it? I'm going to need that before I start switching things off. So I guess I'll have to turn this on and things like that. Hmm. I'll come back and do that. Why am I going up? Because I need to go up to go down. Oh wait, do I have the key for this? I got a gear, right? Labeled Z. Didn't I? Z key? Oh no, that was on the other. That was on the other place. I guess the commander must have it. Uh, right up here we go. We'll get us to the other left. We can go back down. Back down to uh, the crew area, the uh, gondola. Something funky about this lift, but uh, kind of bounce well on it. But well, that's alright. More annoying way, it's very, very slow. Well, that's okay too. Right, where were down here? Right, I don't have any flash bombs, so hopefully the commander isn't armed. Because I think that's the commander I saw. Wait, am I in the right place or am I in the wrong place? I'm in the wrong place, right? Yeah, that's the toilet. Oh well, we've got a we've got the job to do here. Not the key. That should do it. Watch the incrimin incriminating letter. Good, good. Nobody will ever find that except. Uh, Get a bad move, that might have alerted everyone. Uh, no one will ever find that, except anyone that's down on the ground below in this snow covered paradise. Uh, that's where's, where's the passenger lift? Passenger lift is what I need. That's storage. around here after all? Am I just forgetting? Right here, yes. I am forgetting. Alright, so here... Oh, we can turn the lights off. Or at least some of them. He doesn't seem to have a sword. Hmm. Who are you? Did you see me? I saw something. I have seen the intruder. I'm getting out of here. Good. 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 Wait, did that not tick off our KO them all objective? Oh, there's probably one in the maximum security storage area. Summary of the main resource developments. It is simple to understand that all the projects and all the machines created by Dr. Zeppelinger are based upon the massive use of the chemical product A21, which is a combination of many elements found in various parts of the known world. Because we know that these materials are located in distant places, we must consider the possibility of creating a flying machine with only one purpose. To collect them. But that is not the only problem that needs a solution. The combination of the precious elements is only possible by using the propolizer machine. This machine miraculously resets the molecular size of each material and combines them in the correct proportions. We don't know exactly how the rest of the job is done. And this is the point. We don't know anything about this propolizer machine. 
Does anyone know how Dr. Zeppelinger built that machine? Our primary objective is to begin a project to build another propolizer machine. A propolizer machine mark two, bigger and faster than before, because we need to increase fuel production next year. So where they plan? Fortunately, I'm going to ruin it for you. You didn't have any uh, purses or anything? No, and you are the commander, right? Oh no, you're the Duke? Duke Calvin Brown, okay. Now I wonder if I do actually throw anyone off the Zeppelin, which would presumably kill them when they hit the ground. Um, wait, did you not have a key? Oh, I've got this key. I've had this key for ages and I didn't use it. And, uh, did any of these talk about the day? No. Where, oh, where's that key gone? Found this treasure box key. Emergency escape key. Alright, that will be useful. Uh, codes. I can just try all the codes, I guess. Let's see, what have we got? 3242. I can't take notes. Uh, 3242. One two three four 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 one 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 three two. Gonna have to go down for it. Three two four two. Four 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 one. One two three four and something else. Well, that's three of them. Three two four two. Four 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 one. Nope. 4441 four, is indeed correct. Oh, wow. Those guests had lots of uh, goods to keep here in the safe. Very, very safe. Nobody will find that. Let's lock it up again. All right, how much money do we have? 1850, that's pretty good. Plan, all right, care of them all. Let's go to the maximum security storage area and see about getting this propolizer machine and uh, KOing anybody who happens to be near it. Oh, for that we've got to go all the way back up to the top, don't we? Which uh, kind of went the long way around. Anything under this one? Probably not, right? No. Just mechanists don't seem the sort of people to hide uh, things underneath lifts. Okay, well while I'm up here, I should probably use that dial that does something. The one in the left trim room. Seems to be part of the chaos making anyway. Very slow lift. <sighs> Walking around you all the time is getting tiresome. So, this room? Maximum security first, although I guess the dial is just down here. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. That way I don't have to forget, I don't have to come back. Unless I really want to go through my plan of throwing everyone overboard, which, you know, I'm not here to murder them all. That should be slightly chaotic. We'll make more chaos as we go. I'm not really here to murder them all. And, uh, you know, I had my fun throwing people off zeppelins already. I think, uh, I think we can, you know, show a little forbearance. Mm. Mm. What? Mm. 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 What are you, what are you mmming about, Garrett? You don't need that. 
Because it means I don't know what to do now. We need to find the lost dog painting. Find one realm's incriminating letter. Okay. Change route, drop the anchor, drop the bell, stop the motor, spent the balloon pressure. Yeah, I can do all that in a little while. I mean, I suppose I do still need to find the escape pod as well. A lot of stuff to find. You are annoying. Why don't you go and sit over here? Um, right. I wonder if there's anything. Oh, I've got rope arrows. I have rope arrows. I may be able to get higher up than I could before. That's probably worth a. Look in. Right. Any wooden uh, surfaces up above? Not up here. Let's try up the other ends. You're in my way. You'll be less in the way if you go there, although maybe away from the big chunky piston just in case it murders you. Because I don't want you to be murdered by accident, that would be terrible. If you're gonna be murdered, it has to be by me on purpose. Don't sit in there, Garrett. Foolish. Foolish person. Hmm. Doesn't look promising. There's clearly a little more space up there, but it's just the top of the balloon, so probably not where we go. Alright, I need to go and read some journals again or something to try and figure out what's up with that key, because uh, there was the discussion of the secure area, but I don't remember what it said. Um, it's not in my... Uh, Objectives. We go back to the commander's room, go back to where the Duke was, see if there's anything there that will tell us more about it. Timing helmet, you know, could be useful. Uh, there was no, nothing of information, no information here, right? This was just storage, yeah. So the lights. Alright, back down. Uh, and back around. It's just storage, it's no use to me, right? Passenger rooms had nothing of, re of relevance. This room had uh, no controls or anything of relevance. Oh, wait a second. Oh, -ho! a trapdoor. Like a ladder. It had nothing of relevance, he says. No, it has. It has the lost painting of the dog. Brown's bold dog. All right. Well, we'll we'll take that. Okay. Um, so we still have to find this incriminating letter. Still have to KO them all and then create some chaos. But we've got to get to this machine. All right. Now we can use all these controls, and I don't remember what does what. This one's labeled. Alarm stop. Hmm. There's an anchor release, I guess. There's a bit of the ballast release. 
we, we can see the ballast right there, so we, we can watch it happen. That's the lights. Yeah, let's leave them on. And we can change course and alter speed, but let's just not touch any of that till we're actually ready for it all. Once we're ready, we can uh, we can do all that. Can I actually get up here? Yeah, it's quicker than worrying about the lift. So. Uh, Duke Von Braun claimed total control of the maximum security storage room. Okay. Which is Duke, the Duke's room? That's not the Duke's room. Is this the Duke's room? I don't know, I guess the thing downstairs will tell us which the Duke's room is. This is the Duke. And uh, he says nothing about the maximum sec security here. Maximum security storage room, that is. He doesn't have any secret switches on his desk, does he? You know, there could still be a few hiding spots on the Zeppelin. Right, let's check. You're not the Duke, but let's just double check that you don't have anything on you. Oh. Sometimes I clear the Duke. Thankfully he fell on his back, so it's very clear he doesn't have any, uh, anything on his belt. And you, I think, are... don't either. Okay. Leaves me slightly at a loss to know exactly what to do. No. I can't uh, jump over it because the ceiling's too low. Let's check that book. Find out. Did you, was the Duke on here? I mean, the Duke claimed control of the MSS, right? So presumably he would have had half the key. Wait, where's the entrance? Why did I just walk right past it? No, this is on the other side of the uh, of the vessel. It is on the other side. On the starboard side. Here we are. Rooms reserved and waiting for these guests. Duke von Karl von Braun. Okay, so the Duke's one is down on this on this floor. So let's go around to the guest rooms. See if I can actually figure out which one's the Duke's. Probably the fanciest one, right? I mean, of course he's got a stateroom. He was on board. He wouldn't come on board without a stateroom. This would not be the Duke's. Oh, what's his personal notes? Um, when he wants to get rid of... Yeah, that's the Duke. Yes. The painting. Okay. There's a missing page of his diary. So we need to find the missing page of his diary. But also... He has an incriminating letter that we need to find. If it's not here, it will surely it would be up in the other room he was in. Um, hmm. I'm well, not in the crew areas. Well, I'm going to be doing a lot of wandering around looking for things, I think. I don't, I don't want to resort to the... Let's double check up here that there wasn't... Um, I shouldn't have closed it, you know. There wasn't anything, any incriminating letters towards somewhere that I just missed. No, I'll leave it open. So... That's not an incriminating letter. That's just a report. I don't see any sign, unless it's behind the painting. I don't see any sign of uh, any possible hiding place in here. Let alone any secret switches. Well, um, hmm, 
And we don't have to find the uh, letter, or we don't have to care everyone, but we do need to get into the proper lies machine. And I'm very confused as to why my key just doesn't work. Why is Garrett just says, hmm. Also, how are we going to escape? These seem to be, to my, you know, naive brain, slightly important questions. Um, so, we're here on board the Zeppelin, uh, trying to find how we can get in to the secure storage area. And the answer is, um, oh, it's not up here, I need to be. The answer is, I uh, missed something in the Duke's room. For which they wait, the Duke's room is on the other side. Port side for the cabins, starboard side for the entrance. Is this the Duke's? No. The Duke's was the. Uh... Wait, that was the Duke's? That's his notes, okay. So. Aha, that's what I missed there. Switch under the bunk. MSS area key. Ah, oh, it's MSS room key and MSS area. Right, and here is a letter to Von Braun's colleagues. Casimiro, it's time to smash the wall that blocks our way. Dr. Zeppelinger has made a big mistake this time and we can make the point. He is fully occupied and with the matter of the new air weapon, and doesn't pay attention to what surrounds him. I'm in contact with a professor from an old mechanist family who promises me a cunning poison, odorless and colorless. The plan is to wait until the next gathering of Zeppelinger's fellow scientists for their usual lunch at the Zeppelinger mansion. Then you will receive a message to prepare everything necessary and meet me at the mansion. Don't forget to destroy this evidence. Signed, Carl von Braun. All right, new objectives, huh? We still need to locate and steal the proper laser and fly away in the escape pod, but also, and knock everyone out, and create some chaos. Uh, new objective compliments, you found all the secrets. Uh, put Von Braun's incriminating letter in Dr. Zeppelinger's mailbox. Wait, does Dr. Zeppelinger have a mailbox? What? I mean, at his house, right? But, uh... I don't understand how we're supposed to, uh... put the letter in his mailbox while we're on board this thing. Um... It doesn't make sense to me. However, uh, where am I going? I'm trying to get around to... secure area. back up in the gas bag and is here yes I mean unless when we get the escape plane we're gonna fly past Dr. Zeppelinger's mailbox that would be uh, amusing and appropriate but I don't know how I'm gonna where else I would put this Come on, you need to install faster lifts, Doctor. It would uh, suit me much better. I suppose it's true that you did not design this for me, but... Um... Right, MSS Area Key. Yeah, not... Hmm. Hmm, it's not a useful thing to say, Garrett. Oh, what have we got here? Two rooms. Maximum security storage room. Request the key from Commander Jameson. Right, we've got that one. Escape pod, request the key from Commander Jameson. Okay, so we've got... Let's just check it out first. Oh. It's a dramatic lighting. We haven't got an emergency yet, but... Um... Okay. I suppose it's got dramatic lighting for... Uh... 
when there is an emergency. With instructions. To use the escape plane, you must first release the chain blocks. Use the levers, okay. So let's not do that just yet, because we'll need to come back. Alright, so we know what we have to do. Alright, we'll come back there. Right, MSS room key. Is there a guard? There is a guard here, yes. Steady. Steady. Alright, so this is the propolizer machine. Very interesting. Like we saw it from there in the vents before. I guess, I mean, I thought it was too big to fit in my uh, loot sack, but I guess it's not. Alright, so we got what we came for. We have knocked everyone out, but it doesn't seem to think we have knocked everyone out. That's, that's interesting. Um, I don't know how we put this in Dr. Zeppelin as a mailbox, but let's create some chaos for mega bonus. Get the sweet, sweet mega bonus points. Chain fruit, drop the anchors, drop the ballast, stop the motors, and vent the balloon pressure. All right, so all of that we can do from uh, back on back down in the gondola. So we'll go back there. And of course we have to come all the way back up here to escape. So I hope the venting the balloon pressure isn't going to make us crash too quickly because it's a very, very, very slow lift here. Although, you know, venting, venting, we're not going to just like release it, right? We're just going to use the existing venting system, which should uh, lower a pressure relatively slowly, right? It should just, we should drift towards the ground, not, uh, not just drop out of the sky. At least that's the purpose of a balloon, right? Is to have a relatively safe... Uh, will we need a diving helmet? Nah. Balloon should have a relatively safe um, failure mode. Alright. So... Let's change course. Let's stop going forward. Although, changing course and stopping seems slightly redundant, but uh, let's drop the ballast. Should go, that'll make us go up much higher. Drop the anchors. And let's go, uh, release this uh, pressure. Oh, that's, that is going down rapidly dropping pressure, isn't it? They're down to zero. Well, let's hope that doesn't kill me. That's, that's maximum chaos. Let's go back up. Get to the escape pod. Not sure quite why they call it a pod, because it's clearly a plane and not a pod, but uh, maybe... Maybe these mechanists don't use the word plane, maybe they... Maybe they somehow think of these like, uh... As we think of, uh... You know, the little... Fleshy... Capsules that the peas come in, you know, the pods. Well, maybe they're supposed to get some vegetables and... Escape with the pea pods. I don't know. But we can get to the escape plane, so let's do that. As long as we don't crash first, given this slow thing. Right, we've got the machine, and that should hopefully satisfy those green leaf people who poisoned us. Let's try and make us all told us they did. Do I really believe it? I don't feel poisoned. Maybe it's just a highly secret poison that you don't notice. That is what we came here for. So, let us... 
Oh, the lever action is blocked by ice. Okay. Let's go, uh... Clear up the ice. It's cold. Yeah, it's, it is. It's also... Seems risky here. Okay. One wing clear. Both wings clear. Ah, uh, right. And we can actually see we lowered the anchors too. Can I get that one from here? All right, off we go. Goodbye, Zeppelin. Where am I going? I really don't know. Here. Here's your damned machine. There. Just in time, Garrett. Just in time. And now, what about that thing? This matter is no longer your concern. The world is not yet ready for this kind of technology. We will watch over it. Someday, its time will come. The end. One last special thanks to F Fox and Biker Dude for their moral support and much more. Sterlino. Alright, uh, so I guess there was a. I don't know why this didn't trigger because I killed everyone, I thought. Um, and I have no idea where Dr. Zeppelinger's mailbox would have been to put that in. So that's fine. Didn't do everything, but they're optional, so. We found all three secrets, found 2,000 loot out of 2,000. And that is the end of the campaign. Uh, I guess with, because we didn't put the incriminating letter into Dr. Zeppelinger's mailbox, Dr. Von Braun, Von Braun is going to end up poisoning Dr. Zeppelinger. So with the propolizer safely stowed away Indiana Jones style by the keepers and with Dr. Zeppelinger dead, I guess this is the end of the flying age. Flying machines aren't going to last much longer. That's a shame. You know, could have had a whole series of thief flight simulators to, to follow on this, this story. So, um, Sterlino's fan mission. Thanks to Eshaktar and Slugs. Thanks to Nameless Voice, Pink Dot, Arsole, Fox, Yandros, Nightwalk, Otto, 155, The Phantom. And anyone else at ttlg.com. Voice actor Sly Fox is Garrett, Biker Dude as a guard. Something that, uh, it's going too fast for me to read. This mission is dedicated to any flying heroes of the human history. Alright, that was Thief 2, The Flying Age, or The Abominable Flying Machines of Dr. Zeppelinger. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you'll join me here for the next mission.